live now. We are live. Live on YouTube. Darling. Come now. Manny. Manny, Manny. We're live. We're live on now. Come. Wait. Well, it's only two minutes. Yes, come. come on. We're on now. Wait. Hello, Simon. Hello, yo yo, Simon. Hello, Simon. Uh, smile. <laughs> <laughs> good afternoon. No, good evening. Why? <laughs> now, 10 p.m. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. I wonder how many, oh my goodness me, have 61% um, dropped frames. That's pretty bad. So we're sharing internet. Oh. Did you like the clip? Yes, I did. It was good. Small gods one, hello. Small gods one. Good day. Hello, so what do you got? Five, five Martuin. Martin. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. We wait for people to come. Say, so what do you got? Hello, people. Anybody hiding? Probably not because. Um, it is early again, and we've got loads of drop frames. Hello, San Diego. San Diego from America. Uh, you have pain. One. One. Pain. Yeah. Have chip. Where you have pain, darling? Tell everybody on YouTube you have pain. Where you have pain. They don't know. They want to know. <laughs> it's the only one I've got, mate. They're all in the watch. <laughs> <laughs> Again? <laughs> Tank tops, yes. All day, every day. Hopefully this drop this drop stage will go down. I'm hoping. Although there's a hell of a lot of people in the hotel tonight. Car park is full. El Real Prato, howdy. Hello. So what do you can? So what do you Welcome. <laughs> you go again. <laughs> oh, it's okay then, is it? It's just my stats aren't very good. 53% drop frame, so it might be just... Um, Shared internet, so that's all right. As long as you're receiving it okay, that's good. Wife's at the interview, I'm in the car. Okay, that's good. I hope she gets the job. What job is it? Yeah, wife, go, go for a job. You wait in car. <laughs> that mean but you can't. Uh, so my lovely wife has pain. Not me. Pain in mm. No you say you feel better. Savadi my tat. 
สบายดีค่ะขอบคุณค่ะ thank you yes not very well San Diego we found out that it's sinusitis crickets just stop for tea is it okay well that's good but um, na oh nanny housekeeper okay well that's a good job that's a good job yeah. nanny a nanny looking after looking after rugrats probably more than likely and uh, yes we're going to go to the doctor tomorrow for you sinusitis professor yapo hello sawadika welcome oh, God. in the eye <laughs> In your bad eye, ah, no. I don't know, wear glasses. Hope you feel better and recover quickly. Yes, I'm sure the the doctor will look after her tomorrow. And uh, I I think some antibiotics. I don't know what they what they would give out here in Thailand, but I'm sure that they will. Give something medicine for you, maybe. Yeah. You have before? No. Not have before. Okay. It's for lang. You have for lang. Mm. <laughs> you get you get from for lang. Uh, I give you. <laughs> Never mind. Oh dear, you feel better tomorrow. Yes. Any more lurkers? Oh dear. You go and have a little sit. Oh, come, I back. Come, back come, back come back later. Come back later. Come back later. Okay. Yeah, you can see them. A oh, pain. Yeah. If I, if I sit. Here, yeah. then, then you can still see, can't you? Hello, Glyn, how are you doing, mate? Not too loud, darling. Not too loud. So, as you can see, a live and well, just about. We suspect it's sinusitis. That's awful, that is. Very, very painful. So we're we'll going to the uh, doctor tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning. So we got, oh, we've gone down a little bit with the old drop frame. So we're down to 46. Uh, I'm fine, uh, fine, Lynn, just a bit tired, a bit full on. No rest for the wicked, as they say. It's all go. Although today it's been all stop, we've had a very, uh, very quiet day. I think they sort of get quieter as you go toward the end of the holiday. But I've got, uh, I bet you got tomorrow, Sunday, and then Monday we'll be packing up. Uh, save you so hot, yes. It's actually probably hotter down your way than it is up here. We have a lot of, um, it's only about 30. It's cloudy. And uh, it, keeps on, it keeps on coming over, trying to rain. But it hasn't rained yet, which is good. So, good old Pat's. I like Pat's, <laughs> he's a nice chap. Talking of nice chaps, anybody else lurking? Come on, all you lurkers, out of the closet, out, so to speak. <laughs> We're all very equal here. By the way, small gods, you said you're watching cricket, who's playing? 
no, you're not a lurker, or no, you're not what? <laughs> oh, Simon. So I did come up. That's very cryptic. Not sure my mind reading skills are, are up to pat today. So you'd love to give me a little bit of a hint on that one. England versus West Indies. Oh well, West Indies will probably win. <laughs> Sorry about that. What do I know? I'm only guessing. Probably based on history. Oh, you're listening to me over the car speakers. You sound like you're in the back seats. Yes, I am uh, a back seat driver. <laughs> yes, you are lurking. Okay, fair enough. You heard critic date games could go for five days. They could probably go longer than that. They are very, very slow. So, what did you do today? That's interesting. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> we went to the Pisha, Pisha, what's that restaurant, darling? Pisha, Pisha what? Fish is the one. The one, the one, one, yeah. The one, the one, yeah, wah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> we went back there. It's basically her old boss's uh, restaurant. Yeah. England hammered them last test. Oh, well, that's good news. I'm happy about that. Come on, Ken, you have to go there. Is that right? Yes. Okay. There's your instructions. If you ever come to Kong Ken, you have to go to that restaurant. It's down by Central Plaza, near the railway line. Uh, you turn off just before you get to the railway line, uh, going towards uh, Central Plaza. It's very hot in London, that's good news, because I hope it's still hot on Monday, because that's when I'm coming back. I hope it is still is. Oh look, it's Barry, Barry in the house. Hello. Any Spanish tapas places? <laughs> I think you need to go to Spain for those, don't you? Or London, something like that. I don't think you'll find anything other than maybe Thai or imitation foreign, because they certainly can't do uh, steak. They cannot do steak, and as far as I know, they can't do pasta either, because it's awful. Hello, Shannon. Welcome. Good evening. Cannons in Scotland. Good old Scotland. Oh, right. And a year. So how are you all doing? Was joking, but I didn't see them in Japan. Fair enough. Yes. Dog steaks and rats plates, don't get me started on that. Sorry, five mart martyrin. Who didn't see your previous high or I don't know, probably me. Because <laughs> I don't know about reading it out. So I'll read it out now. Hi all. Oh, you haven't seen the size of the, the rats here, Sandy. Huge. Not good, you hate up there. Probably because it's a bit wet and cold. But at the moment, you'd be better off living there because of the government and all these social benefits. Because the Scottish tend to look after your people. 
what do you call <laughs> a cow with a twitch? Beef jerky. Okay, we're on the old cow jokes again. Uh, and she was pirate jokes last night, wasn't it? So, I presume you're going to be our resident joke teller then, Simon. I hope you've got a load lined up. What do you call a cow on barnyard floor? Ground beef. Barry used to work in a dive shop and rats loved to eat wetsuits. We had the fattest cats in Thailand. <laughs> Good. Although the one I've seen in, in the restaurant, they got a cat in there. I was trying to feed it some fish and it basically it turned its nose up at it. It wouldn't eat it. <laughs> what do you call the cow with their front legs? Lean beef. Hope no none of the cows get a Twitch account. Oh, very good. Very good. Is Tad still hung over? No, actually she's got sinusitis. We found out what it is. Hello Prince, how you doing mate? Welcome. I think these cow jokes are getting a bit silly. What do you call the cow that has two legs? Side of beef? Yo, yo, what's up man? It's Prince in the house. Cool, man. Cool. Was that you I saw commenting on the video on one of the Facebook pages? I'm sure it was you. You're a multi-talented chap, aren't you, when you're driving along in a lorry, doing Facebook and YouTube? It's pretty clever. What do you get if you cross an angry sheep with an upset cow? An animal that's in a bad mood. <laughs> What's a cow's favourite note? Be flat. How do you get, get how do you say get well soon in Thai? That's a very good question. I don't know the answer to that. Maybe somebody here can tell you who speaks Thai. Because I don't know. Why don't cows have any money? Because the farm is milk and dry. <laughs> I apologise for the cow jokes. They're coming courtesy of Simon London Smiles. They are not mine. So please don't accuse me. Oh, we're on pirate jokes now. Pirate jokes are back. Why is pirating so addictive? I'll after you lose, lose your first hand, you get hooked. Yeah, I know that one, it's very good. How do you make it? How do you make a milkshake? Give a cow a pogo stick. Oh, they're getting, they're getting slightly better. That was moderately funny. Any more silly jokes? I don't know, Shannon. I really don't know why we're on cow jokes tonight. We had pirate jokes last night. We all know why pirates are pirates, do we? Because they are. You could never get sick of that one. Do you stay in the same hotel that you tell me you go to Thailand? When we're in Konkin, yes I do. We have tried other ones um, which I booked and then they haven't been very good and I've been told that I'm not allowed to book any more hotels. <laughs> One cow says the other cow, worried about mad cow disease? Other cow says, no, I'm a duck. Yeah, that was you. All right, yeah, that's good. How did you um, See, I do watch, I do look. Hi, Tad. Shannon says hi, darling. Hello. Darling. Hello. Say hello, Shannon. Hello. 
Shannon. Sorry, Shannon. She's on the uh, YouTube. Um, Hi. Hi, game show thing. I don't know what it's called. Pirate walks into a bar with a cow. The pirate fell over. It was an iron bar. You see the, the contempt I'm giving that joke? Sorry, Barry. It was it was funny. Just uh, I didn't find it funny. Now oh, look, we're down to drop frames now. 32%, that's good, that's a lot better. Maybe it settles down as time goes on. So guys, what have you been up to then? Apart from telling really awful jokes. I'm hoping that we've run out of cow jokes now. Hello Rudy. Rudy Schweinhunt. Very, very good name. Almost as good as Professor Yaffle. Who is actually a professor, by the way. <laughs> I would say some jokes, but I might get banned. Yes. Indeed. I think we're, we're all friends here. I'm sure we can uh, make some allowances. Because nobody can actually see you chat, the chat after it's been done. Yes, you've been cleaning all day whilst making up jokes. Uh, Barry, I would have probably concentrated on cleaning rather than making jokes, but there you go. Uh, sorry about that. Playing Dragon Quest, eh? Whoa. Well, I've had a half a day of um, sleeping, <laughs> and the other half was also sleeping, and then a little bit tonight, we went to the restaurant. Can a moderator ban himself? I don't know. Can you, Simon? Can you ban yourself? <laughs> I knew I'd heard of Professor Waffle before. <laughs> Does anyone? It's it's not Professor Waffle. <laughs> it's Professor Professor Yaffle, not Waffle. Do you play any video games? Yes, I do. I I play um um uh, uh, a couple of nerdy games. I play Train Station, and I play um Train Thingy Simulator Thingy on the computer. I also have Half-Life and uh, things like that on my computer, GTA 5, things like that, although I actually prefer GTA 4, uh, sorry 3 or 2 or whatever number it is, um, but it's not the, not the latest one because it's rubbish. Uh, how, how, how long are we here for? I have another two days mate. So. Another two more days. Uh, Bagpuss. Lazy tourist. Uh, Barry, I meant Yaffle. <laughs> yeah, your, your old um, correction thing is a bit of a... It got a bit of an issue tonight. Ah, my heart is. It's official. I am a train spotter. Noise. <laughs> That's a bit mafia. Are you with the mafia, Smarty? Sounds like you could be. Ah, noise. You're going to make me an offer you can't refuse. Somebody actually said something like, I hate GTA 5, I prefer GTA 5. <laughs> yes. Very good. By the way, if you if you're if you're hearing this, it it's GTA V and GTA five for that uh, comment, just in case you're wondering. Rudy 
Oh, right. Okay. Rooney. Rooney, Dad, darling. Rooney. Dad. Rooney, Dad. Yes, you are from Bagpuss. A wooden bookend in the shape of a woodpecker. Hello, Scott Brennan. Welcome. Yo, yo. Welcome to this madhouse. And that's just me. You're welcome. If you haven't, I don't think you've been here before. Might not have been here before. I don't recognise the name, but you are welcome. We're just having a bit of a tin wag and uh, catch up. We've got two more days left of, of these. Some people will say, thank God for that. We get that the normality. And, uh, well, Oh, thank you for subscribing. You're most welcome. And uh, if there's any questions you want to ask me, then feel free to do so anytime. We also have a lovely Facebook uh, travel, Andy Wright Travel .uk, that you can go on. Uh, do I know any good? Oh, do it. Does, does Scott know any good jokes? We don't know. We'll have to ask him. Scott, do you know any good jokes? <laughs> Still no appearances by Tan's sister. Sorry, Rudy, I'm really, really sorry. But we, we, I tend to find that having the sister in the room with the other sister could be seen a bit weird as far as YouTube is concerned. But other people will say I'm just a lucky bugger because I'll have two people, two sisters. But there you go. That's another story. Uh, but you can see, if you wait, you will see. I'm trying, to, I'm trying not to read that before I get to it. Uh, you will see that on the, on the actual um, vlogs, you will see her on there. Okay, so here is Scott's brilliant uh, joke. What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> That's worthy. That's that is worthy of a, of a of a little laugh. I reckon. Can we all please laugh now? Not in a sarcastic way, in a very polite and supporting way. Thank you, everybody. Oh. Well, there you go, Rudy. An, an excellent um, way to segue into Thailand Adventure 4, which will be coming up very soon. It's official. I will be live streaming from the UK very soon. Every day. Forever. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Very good, Smarty. Laughed in a supporting way whilst dying inside. <laughs> How many days does Andy have left? Leahy, you've got... Uh, uh, sorry, Prince, you've got a new supporter. Leahy M is uh, one of your subs. I just rolled off my sofa, I was laughing that hard. Yes, I think you ever did it. <laughs> PY, not enough. <laughs> yes, people. I'm sure you'll miss me doing these live streams. I will live to be a hundred. Oh dear me. See, so look at that, uh, lady. You've got some lovely uh, response from Prince. That's more than what I got. <laughs> Joking. Joking. 100 decades. <laughs> I've, I've, uh, I've reduced the chat. Time to 10 seconds, if you haven't uh, seen it. So you will be able to, 
type a little bit faster. We won't miss you. You'll be just later than we're used to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Why do you have this feeling? And let's quit the bug and we'll continue in the, oh my God, you have suffered the, um, the live chat syndrome where it cuts off your um, NWO. See that was uh, that was a bit of humour there. Did, did you did you um, did you get that? It's a good bit of humour. All right, Leahy. Yes, it's the same shirt. It's the one I found over there because I had no shirts left. <laughs> now my wife laughed. Because she just spent all day ironing. I wonder if the strings, no, they won't be. I wonder if the strings will be as popular if Tad is there. I doubt it very much, Rudy. Because when I'm at home, I'm a miserable git. And I talk to myself quite a lot. Uh, you know, when you've got somebody to sort of appear, that's good looking. Sally, now is the time for you to come and say hello, everybody. There we go. Now, somebody wants to know how you say get well soon, get better. Do not well, get, get, get well. How do you say tired? You don't know. Mm. Say, you get better soon. Do Tad as guest on Google Hangouts? Well, that could possibly work, but she, she hasn't got a computer. They haven't got a Peter. Scores. <laughs> Scott Stenstrud. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, Ying Luck. Blame the country today. I don't know. If you, oh, I see what you mean. Yes, you're on about that thing again. So we'll be all right for Monday. Um, you Googled it. Me, Tad. Me sabai. Me sabai. Me sabai. Me sabai. Me sabai. Me sabai. She has a uh, uh, sinusitis. For anybody's. Are oh, you on the old chat bug again? Yeah, that chat bug. I think they could have fixed it by now. <laughs> Barry says. Are you feeling better? So, Barry say, Sabadi my, and you say, Barry, Sabadi ka, Sabadi my, Sabadi. My Sabadi. Kup kup ma ka. Kup kup ka. Yes, and uh, he's okay. Hello, Jared. Welcome. Simonitis. <laughs> yeah, I've got that. <laughs> because he keeps on breaking things. I try to know what you've broken when I get home. So it wasn't a hangover. Well, I think it probably was, but it's um, also quite serious. <laughs> yes, we're going to the doctor tomorrow to sort it out. However, I thought that as we've got lots of people on here, I'll tell you what we're going to do. She say, you're funny. Shannon say, He's funny. Thank you. Um we're going to we're gonna be getting up early tomorrow morning. Uh, and do a special 
Mm -hmm. Yes, you, not me, me, no. Pain in the ass, is that what you said? You, yeah, yeah. Pain, pain in the ass. In the ass. Yeah. Thank you, Simon, for that. Lovely. You know who your friends are. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to, we're going we're to do something really serious tomorrow, but we haven't done. I said that we, we were going to go to the temple, and my lovely wife said, no, let's not do that. We've done that loads of times. We're gonna um, we're gonna get up early. We're gonna go down to our street outside of our house, and we're gonna wait for the monks to come round. And we're gonna give them food, as you do in uh, what do they call it arms oh, arms. So you have to. We're gonna pop and get some food like rice and some things and then when they come round you also get a bit of a blessing so rather than just going to the temple <laughs> yes tad feel better do you feel okay am i do you thank you uh shannon says what time is it it's um it's actually 10.35 p.m. Uh, Rudy, I think there's something wrong with Simon's computer anyway, because it keeps on breaking it. And they will wash your feet as well. I don't think they will. I think you've got to wash theirs. They're probably a blessing, though. <laughs> That's one thing, you know, I've been coming here for a little while now and I've never done this, so it's going to be quite a good uh, experience, I think. Um, so rather than just going to the temple, which we've done that loads of times, you know, we've been to loads of them. And you give the offering. <laughs> right? Shannon says, And Leahy. And Leahy as well. Can we can speak English? Speak English a little bit, yes. That's right. What's female? I don't know. I don't know what sh uh, Shannon, I don't know. Oh, they will wash your feet. They wash your feet, darling. Tomorrow? 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 Monk, come. Yeah, man, come. Wash feet? Yes. They wash feet? Feet. Yeah. Not fruit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Not fruit. No. You don't forget. No, forget. No. Man, come. Man, come. We give food. Yes. And they wash feet. No way. No wash feet. No. No. No have shoes. No have shoes. So there is some doubt about that, Simon. Kopkun ka. Kopkun ka ta. See, they all love you. Everybody in YouTube love you. Kopkun ka. Thank yes. you. And they want you to get better and be well. And so I do. Yeah. It's okay. So we're going to do that. That's going to be six o'clock in the morning. Monks will not touch women. They will not touch anybody. You're not supposed to touch them at all. They will not touch money either. You cannot give them money. You cannot give them donation. You have to give it in an envelope. Or you have to give it to somebody else. You cannot, they cannot touch money. Why do they wash the feet? Well, there is some debate about that. Uh, maybe Simon can answer that one. I don't know. I know that when I got married, um, Nat washed my feet when we married in, in the house. Before I go into the house to to uh, meet my wife, my, 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 obviously my fiancé, um, Nat, the brother, washed my feet 
how it's cleansing your spirit. Through the Mary, mm. not yeah. clean. Not clean my feet, yes. 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 So Mary. Did Tad give me a name? No, she well, she gave me a name, but it wasn't polite. <laughs> One gear. One gear. Yeah, that's that's my name, One Gear, okay? It's two words. And that's what she calls me. Have you got enough room done? You know, come on the chair a little bit further. Oh. I know I have a big ass. Yes. Okay. Oh, I have a big ass. Yes. Oh, I'm really <laughs> <laughs> hey. When is Tad coming to the UK? When you go, when you go. When you go, okay. When you go. When you want to go. You want to go now. You want to go Monday. I will go tomorrow. You want to go tomorrow. Mm. Uh, Leahy was still working on that. So there is an issue around the visa, but we're working on it. You can't marry with smelly feet, I guess. No, that's probably not. It's about... Well, I suppose it is, but it's also about cleansing. Um, how long have we been married? Three years now. Uh, Captain Bucking <laughs> Don't hit me in front of the camera. Too many witnesses. Uh, yes, well, sit on my knee. She she's, Shannon says, you sit on my knee. Um, I want my leg. I want my leg to work after. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Simon. You have indeed hit the nail on the head. One gear. One gear. <laughs> keep on, keep on. Keep on. <laughs> okay, thank you. She called me old and ugly. And, okay, and, I love you, and, everybody. And, and ah. keep on. Keep on, one gear. <laughs> <laughs> you go and listen, uh, YouTube. Hello. Come back in there, okay? <laughs> so, yes, that's what she's called me. <laughs> oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, so yak yak. Keep on. What what does keep on mean, then, Simon? Come on. <laughs> Come on, tell me. My law. My law. My law. I just celebrate the wedding anniversary in Thailand. However you want. They don't really celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Very good, Barry. I like that. Right, okay, so I'm I'm now known as Richard and I'm Richard Gear. <laughs> I think Richard Gear would probably have a bit of a problem. I see no it doesn't it doesn't mean keep on does not mean ugly. I'm sorry. Gear means ugly. No, no. Doesn't matter how many times you type it, it's not gonna make it right. <laughs> Oh, keyboard bug or chat bug. It's, <laughs> it's a silent bug. Do they do Xmas? No, they, they're Buddhist. They're not Christians. They don't celebrate um, Jesus and all that. <laughs> yes, that's probably true, uh, Moody. It's probably just a, a, a piss up. Basically, any excuse for you know, alcohol, it, it's just, it would be, I mean, the point is that we've, we've obviously had three so far, well, two, two and uh, a bit, we haven't really celebrated it, but we do, we do think about it, uh, and the actual fact, the Thai wedding is slightly different to the um, other wedding, so officially we were married in January, but the 
the time when he wasn't until April. And that's really what they they think about in the in the Thai wedding. Halloween, that's an American thing. That's not Thai. That was invented in America. Wasn't it, Sandy? The Sandy thing. Where's he gone? Archie's gone to sleep. So Simon, have you found out what it means yet? Do you want you can't ask your wife. Because that would be... In actual fact, you should know what it means because you get a load of it. I can say that safely. It is tradition for you to buy your Thai wife gold for anniversaries. Really? Well, unfortunately, I won't be doing that because all she'll do is just sell it. Yes, that was a that was a slight dig. It does not mean ugly. Is your wife there? Ask ask her what keybon means. Shush! The wife is listening. <laughs> you think it's American, but it's spreading a bit. I think a bit more than a bit. <laughs> but we don't do it the same way. We don't do it the same way as you do in America. We don't really make a big thing of it. They're too worried about children being abused and uh, accosted and everything else. It's just, and the British people are so miserable. The kid comes to the door to bang on the door to get a trick or treat, and basically they, they tell the kid to off, or they, or they don't answer the door. <laughs> they do Halloween in Pattaya every night about eleven. There are loads of scary monsters walking the streets. Ask Tad if she likes gold. Will you stop stirring it? Rudy, my wife wants to go for any occasion. Yeah, I'm sure she does. And not the cheap English gold either. Well, that's interesting. It's gone quiet for a second. Is anyone in there? I know this chat thing is sort of playing up. As you can see, in bed watching Thai um, TV comedy, um, sort of, yeah. I don't know what name it is, but it is a little bit funny. They, they do tend to put these um, these sort of sound effects over the top of it. A bit weird. Hello, darling. <coughs> oh, bless you. Two more. Oh, it's going awfully quiet for, for a minute. What's going on? Is anybody there? Am I alone? I'm all alone now. Had a bit of an issue uh, today. Had a bit of a jippy, jippy tummy. I'm going to do a, a vlog about it when I get back, but this will be um, just like. Um, You get some of that, it's quite good for jippy tummies. You're trying to make me paranoid, oh thanks bro. <laughs> uh, Rudy, I'm going home on Monday, well Monday night. Hello Wayne. 
can you buy gold legally take it back to the UK? I have no idea because I have no interest in buying gold uh, for anybody, including myself. So I don't know. We'll have to um, ask somebody uh, more experienced. But well, I, I don't know anybody on here at the minute. Uh, milk of magnesia. What's that for? Oh, for the jippy dummy. Yeah, it probably is. Taking the hard drugs, I see. Yes, that's right. Good for the old jippy tummy. It comes with a, a tablet as well. You have to declare it for tax. Well, I thought so because it's the UK government. They want to get their five eggs worth, don't they? Above a certain amount. But how will they know unless it's found? Well, good point, Barry, but they do stop people from Thailand. I've seen it happen. Luckily, I've got away with it. I just look a bit disabled and sort of push up my trolley a bit weirdly, and they let me buy. Yes, that was a quip, and yes, it was funny, before anybody says anything. Um, but yeah, I have seen people get stopped uh, in front of me, and they sort of pull them over, and I'm thinking, well, they don't look like anybody special. Of course, if they find it, then you're in trouble. Jib sends it. <laughs> Good old Jib. When they can keep the receipts for when you or your wife wears it when you return to Thailand. I think probably you or your wife change the word wears it to pawns it because that's what they'll do. They'll pawn it. I think if, you, if you're sensible about it, you know, you do uh, buy it with a proper receipt or whatever. I don't see any problem with it. it tends to be very gold as well. Very, um, you know, I don't know how how much um, how much it would be worth in in the UK. How is the telephone? It's that thing that you pick up and you um, put, and then you dial dial a number and then you, oh Taz, <laughs> it's still working, still here. Rudy, your wife says she needs to go for when you die. <laughs> Lovely. You ought to tell them that an insurance policy might be cheaper. Hello, Ian. How are you? Welcome. A barrier at sea. Huh. So you know no hurry to give a gold, yeah, because you'll probably bump you off. Is Simon drunk? <laughs> probably, I don't know. <laughs> he behaves like that normally. It's probably because he's broken something and he's too scared to tell me. I really dread coming back on Monday because you'll be, Andy, I've broken this website. Oh my God. My wife said that. I told her just to buy me a wooden casket. <laughs> How are we doing? We're on, oh, we're on 54 minutes at the moment, so I'm going to give it another, another couple of minutes because we have to be up early. Oh, Simon, 
a bad workman blames his tools. My keyboard works fine. <laughs> no, you can't ban me. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask the question, did anybody watch the third episode of Jeff Carter? I know to ask that. Because I I do like the guy, but this series is too my head in. Okay, your chat bug. My chat bug's fine, thanks. And um, four thumbs down, what happened? What, on my, on my video? Barry, I watched it. Not seen it. Oh, well, go watch it. It's all right. It's just a little bit boring. Your mafia. Yeah, San Diego, I don't know. Maybe it's um, you know who. And his four um, accomplices. You know, he, he does tend to sort of lurk. I haven't seen from him. I haven't heard from him for a long time, though. So that's good. Good, good news. He who must not be mentioned. Yeah, have a little look and see what you think and tell me what you think because it's, uh, I just thought it was a little bit boring. That was all. No chat, but boring. Um, mind you, some, when I get home, people will tell me the same thing about my blogs, so I can't really talk too much. I didn't live in Tripoli, Ian. I was born there. That was the end of story. Nothing else should be said about that because I was. I was actually born, so baby, 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 and uh, at the time we had a vested interest of the British Army, we were actually friendly with Mr Gaddafi until um, the whole uh, political thing changed and uh, they didn't like him anymore, he's always hiding. Story of his life, yeah. Well, I think, to be honest with you, he should hide a bit better so nobody can find him. That would be even better. And we could put a, a little bag over his head and just disappear altogether. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? He could post himself, put himself in a bag, put a stamp on it, and post himself to... I don't know, somewhere far, far away, in a long distant galaxy, where, whatever. Um, Gaddafi was a legend. Gaddafi actually was a really good bloke. And when I when I tell you this, I can tell you it from, from authority, having researched it, that Gaddafi, uh, took care of his people very, very well. There was free, uh, free education, free health care. There was free uh, social care. Everybody was looked after. Everybody was fed and watered, free water. Um, and basically, they they went for nothing, wanting. They went wanting for nothing. In Tripoli and uh, Libya, and the I can tell you now the um, it was all about the dinar. I see it was all about the gold uh, to be fair, Ian. All about the gold. Gaddafi wanted to set up a new monetary system based on 
Libyan gold and, and Middle Eastern gold. All of the Middle Eastern countries, they wanted to be um, trading gold and have currency. But of course, people outside of that, like the US and, and the UK, they, they didn't, um, didn't really have much gold. So how would they pay for the oil? They wouldn't be able to pay for the oil, so therefore they wouldn't get any oil. So this, this is what basically why they would they didn't like him very much. Uh, so they took him out. And of course, the other uh, issue is about banking. There was no uh, Western banks in charge in Libya. So of course, uh, you notice that any country that's been taken over by the Western powers now have Western banking. Might sound a bit political, but it's the truth. Go and do your own research if you don't believe me. And the sad thing is that if you look at how Libya now and what state it's in, then you'll see that it's a really sad case, really, to be to be fair. So there you go. Bit of history, bit of education. <laughs> Barry, I think that was supposed to be a joke. Very true, Andy, yes. Thank you, Wayne. But yeah, don't believe me. Go and do your, your own research, you'll see that what I've just said. Was in Tripoli 1981 for four weeks. We ate chicken three times a day. They didn't have anything else. Well, when did all of the, uh, you know, all of the stuff start happening? That was about then, wasn't it? Uh, I'm only telling you what I've what I've uh, what I've found out. So it's, if it's wrong, it's wrong. But there you go. So I can only I can only tell you what I know. What I know, and I don't know a lot. Also, you have to bear in mind, Rudy, that some of this media stuff uh, is made up anyway. But the uh, the bit about the gold is true. During the Iraq War, well, there you go. That's Exactly. That's the point, isn't it? <laughs> I was a big fan of him. All my people love all my people. Yeah, I've got, I got nothing against him. Mind you, you know, I'm not really, um, you know, we were, when we were there, it was parents were in the army, so I was a uh, born into the UK um, armed forces. My parents were not combat soldiers, by the way. My dad was um, a Remy. And my mum, actually. But then we were there on a, on a friendly basis in the 60s. Is anybody suitably bored with this now? <laughs> Good. It has gone on a little while. Nice to see all the regulars here. Welcome. So we're on out one hour, four minutes. I'm going to wrap it all up. I'm going to say thank you, everybody. Thank you, Simon. Where's he gone? Having keyboard problems. Still have the green book somewhere. That's Gaddafi's. In the Remy. The Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers. She was in the 
the WAP or whatever it was, the WAP, uh, whatever they're called, the Women's um, Royal something or other, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So basically they were non-combat troops. In fact, my dad was there to do all the, you know, all the electrical stuff, all the power and uh, the, um, communication lines and things like that. Is that it, guys? I think that's probably it. So, well, we've got two more days. We're going to do uh, Saturday and Sunday and then Monday there won't be one. Because I'll be probably, this time of night, I will be in Spanapum. In the rear with the gear. <laughs> that's right. Best place to be, I think. Uh, you might be able to catch up with Chuck and Page tomorrow because I think uh, the um, he's, he's going to do the video where we where we met up. I think that's coming out soon. Does Caden meet Danny? No, she doesn't. Good night, Rudy. Thank you. Good night, Simon. Thank you for moderating, uh, Barry. Shannon, San Diego, Ian, um, who else have we got? Uh, Scott, thank you Scott, welcome. And everybody else that I've forgotten to mention, thank you. Ian S. <laughs> no, I won't be doing it in the departure lounge. <laughs> uh, so Sunday night will be my last one. You should pay him. I do. Well, no. I. Oh, I shan't go into that now. <laughs> bye. Bye, much to end. Small gods. Thank you. Bye for now. So we're going to do a countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs>